When you look up at the night sky on a clear night, you expect to see stars. But around most cities and towns, you may not be able to see much of anything but darkness. It's because of something called light pollution. There are two or three ways in which you can define light pollution. The strictest definition is the introduction of any artificial light into the natural environment. So a more pragmatic definition is the introduction of light into the environment that is not serving any purpose, that is useless. The type of light used is also important, like using red or amber colored lights rather than blue or white. In fact, when we spoke with Stephanie Todd of Dark Sky, Missouri, it was dusk, so we switched from lighting her with blue-white light to red. It's really the blue light in the spectrum is really bad, and everybody's now going to LEDs. People think, oh, you know, they're so cheap, I can get brighter is better. Well, it's not. And so if you have a lot of blue light in the spectrum, it messes up your circadian rhythm. And every living thing has circadian rhythm. Dark Sky Missouri is a chapter of the International Dark Sky Association, or IDA, that advocates for environmentally friendly lighting. And we have five principles, actually, of responsible lighting. That's one of them, the warmer colors. Use it only when you need it. Don't have lights on all night long, and motion detectors are great if you think you have to have some light at night. Focus it only where you need it. So, you know, and so don't shine up light in the sky, and then the light should be shielded so that you're not shining light up into the sky because it's, it's just wasted light. Here in the St. Louis area, amateur astronomers can often be seen looking through their telescopes at Stacy Park in the heart of yeah. Olivet. In fact, Dark Sky International just named Stacy Park as an official urban dark sky place, the first in Missouri and one of just four in the world to get such an honor. And what that means is that even though we are surrounded by a lot of light pollution, we are a little oasis of darkness. And the way we look at that is it's our practices. So when we use lights here, we follow the IDA guidelines, which are that they're down facing, they're on a certain spectrum of the lighting, so that we aren't being a bad neighbor and putting light pollution into our neighboring homes, but also we're not adding artificial light that negatively impact fireflies and birds and even trees that grow differently when they have lights on them. And there was one additional perk. Well, one thing we noticed that we did not intend was the New York Times mentioned Stacy Park in their article on urban night sky places, so that was amazing. You don't have to make newspaper headlines to make a difference in your own neighborhood.